Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be solving a fun little integration problem. So I'd say that this is on the easier side of the uh, problems that we do on this channel in integration. Uh, but go ahead and pause the video if you'd like to try it on your own. Otherwise, we're going to jump into a solution. Uh, there are a bunch of different methods that we could use to solve this problem. But my favorite and the most straightforward is a little u substitution. So we obviously have this 1 minus x raised to the 2015. We don't want to multiply that through. That would be a nightmare. Um, but <laughs> what we can do is we can make u equal to 1 minus x. And that would give us that x is equal to 1 minus u. And then du would be equal to negative dx, which tells us that dx is equal to negative du. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and combine these together. So we're going to rewrite our integral, and our integral is going to be the integral. Um, our bounds are going to change. So when x is equal to 0, u is equal to 1. And when x is equal to 1, u is equal to 0. So our bounds are going to be from 1 to 0. We're going to have this 1 minus u instead of x. And then we're going to have u raised to the 20 15th power. And then instead of positive dx, we're going to have negative du. Okay, so what I notice is if I take this negative sign right here, I can reverse my order of integration over here. So we're going to rewrite this as integral from 0 to 1. And then I can also multiply through. So I'm going to get u to the 2015 minus u to the 2016 du. All right, and this is pretty straightforward to solve. So we're going to get u to the 2016 over 2016 minus u to the 2017 over 2017, evaluated from 0 to 1, which is going to be 1 over 2016 minus 1 over 2017. Uh, that's going to be our answer, but if we want to get it into uh, one fraction, we could also do that. So I could do 2017 minus 2016, so we're multiplying, divided by 2016 times 2017. So this is also going to be equal to 1 over 2016 times 2017. All right, and that is going to be our final solution today. So I hope you enjoyed working through this nice quick problem with me. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have your own video you'd like me to try, go ahead and submit it to thinkthriceproblemsolving at gmail.com. And as you're working through problems on your own, think once, think twice, and if you ever get stuck, think thrice.